free science lessons, cell differentiation and specialization. Cells differentiate to become specialized. Differentiation is the process by which a cell changes to become specialized for its job. As cells change, they develop different subcellular structures and turn into different types of cells. This allows them to carry out specific functions. Most differentiation occurs as an organism develops. In most animal cells, the ability to differentiate is then lost at an early stage after they become specialized. However, lots of plant cells don't ever lose this ability. The cells that differentiate in mature animals are mainly used for repairing and replacing cells, such as skin or blood cells, as well as that, some cells can be undifferentiated. These cells are called stem cells. You need to know these examples of specialized cells. Sperm cells are specialized for reproduction. The function of a sperm is basically to get the male DNA to the female DNA. Sperm cells have a long tail and a streamlined head to help it swim to the egg. As well as that, sperm cells have a lot of mitochondria to provide the energy needed. It also carries enzymes in its head to digest through the egg cell membrane. Nerve cells are specialized for rapid signaling. The function of nerve cells is to carry electrical signals from one part of the body to another. These cells are long and have branch connections at their ends to connect to other nerve cells and form a network throughout the body. Muscle cells are specialized for contraction. The function of a muscle cell is to contract quickly. These cells are long and contain lots of mitochondria to generate the energy needed for contraction. Root hair cells are specialized for absorbing water and minerals. Root hair cells are cells on the surface of plant roots which grow into long hairs that stick out into the soil. This gives the plant a big surface area for absorbing water and mineral ions from the soil. Phloem and xylem cells are specialized for transporting substances. Phloem and xylem cells form phloem and xylem tubes which transport substances such as food and water around plants. To form these tubes, the cells are joined end to end. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like and share.